Before our preview for the Europa League final against Ajax, just want to say our thoughts and our prayers go out to absolutely everybody who has been affected by this tragedy in Manchester. This should not happen. It's a human tragedy. Everybody uniting together. It's happened in Manchester before and Manchester survived. And Manchester will not be broken. But my thoughts and my prayers go out to everybody affected. If there is any way you can help, please do help. After a long season of trips to Russia, Turkey, Belgium, France, Ukraine and Spain, Manchester United are heading to Sweden for the Europa League final against Ajax. It is, without doubt, the biggest game that Manchester United have had in the last three years since Fergie left. This is our playoff final. This is not just a trophy. It determines what happens next season. Are we back in the Champions League? Are Manchester United back? This can be the springboard, the platform for that. Or it could signal the end of a dismal season. It's all on a knife edge depending on whether we win or lose against a very exciting and young Ajax team. Now our form going into this Europa League final, let's be honest, it's pretty poor. It was a great 2-0 win over Crystal Palace, but that was the kids coming in. They brought a new energy and excitement back to the team. And energy and excitement which certainly wasn't there in the four games prior to that. one all draw against Swansea, 2-0 loss against Arsenal, 2-1 loss against Spurs and a terrible 0-0 draw against Southampton. But in our last six games, Manchester United have scored only five goals. And this is going into the Europa League final, a European Cup final. It doesn't matter if it's the Champions League, it doesn't matter if it's Europa League, it's a European Cup. And Manchester were the first club to start pushing for European football. That was Matt Busby's dream, which he pushed for and he got. So to try and dismiss this as the Europa League only is irrelevant. This is Manchester United in Europe and we've got to do it against a very good Ajax team. Now Ajax did lose out on the Eredivisie title to final on the last day of the season. But looking at their last six games, Manchester United have scored five goals, Ajax have scored 14. They have been one hell of an exciting team to watch this season with one of the youngest starting 11s potentially ever going into this Europa League final. They've got 17-year-olds, 18-year-olds and 19-year-olds galore, which we'll discuss in more detail. But this Ajax team are youthful, exuberant and very exciting to watch. So for the neutral going into this game, that up against Manchester United is going to be an interesting collision. And for Manchester United fans, it is definitely a worry. And how have Ajax actually reached the final? In the round of 32, they beat Legia Warsaw 1-0 over two legs. And in the round of 16, they beat Copenhagen 3-2 over two legs. In the quarterfinals, they overcame Schalke 4-3. And in the semi-final, you saw a Jekyll and Hyde performance from Ajax. In the first game, they won 4-1. Disgustingly good attacking football. But Leon could have had plenty of goals. It's just their finishing was poor. Kind of sounds like Man United. And in the second leg, Leon won 3-1. So Ajax went through to the final 5-4 on aggregate. But they could have conceded a lot more than three goals in that second semi-final. And if you look at Ajax's stats across the whole season, they're conceding an average of nine shots per game. So Manchester United can definitely get at this defence. It might be exciting going forward, but Ajax leave a lot of holes in defence because they press with such intensity and quite high up the pitch. If United can defend well and hit on the counter-attack and basically play Ajax at their own game. We've got the players who can expose their defence. But saying that, Ajax do have on average 20 shots per game. So Sergio Romero is going to be a very busy man in Stockholm. Who are Ajax's danger man going into the game? Their main striker, Kasper Dolberg, is certainly their biggest danger man. Six foot one, 19 years old, his first breakthrough season at Ajax and he has shown he is a super, super talent. 23 goals in all competitions. Was named the under-21s Johan Cruyff player in the Eredivisie this year. Was named the best young player at Ajax this year. He is their focal point in attack. And he is one person that Manchester United have got to keep quiet. But he is not the only player who has got 20-plus goals for Ajax this season. Davy Klaassen has got 20-plus goals and he is their captain from midfield. He is going to be their leader in the middle and if Manchester United are going to win this game we've got to make sure that he doesn't get a hold and a grasp of it. So Ander Herrera and Paul Pobre have got to make sure that he doesn't get as much comfortable position as he would want to because if he does it really could spell disaster for Manchester United. 
But the thing about this Ajax team, we're talking about Klaas and we're talking about Dolberg. They've got the likes of Bertrand Traore, Amin Yunis, Justin Kluivert, who is obviously Patrick Kluivert's son. They've got so many attacking, exciting young players that it will be foolish for Man United to try and have a game plan to stop Dolberg or to stop Klaassen. Ajax are a very good team. And if Man United are going to win this Europa League final, we have got to play well as a team. I don't think we'll have anybody doing a man-marking job like Ander Herrera on Eason Hazard. Ajax have got too many danger points, which kind of makes it hard to defend against them. That's probably why they scored so many goals, 14 in their last six games. But Manchester United have got to make sure we defend disciplined. And when we do press, we press as a team. And how do Ajax normally play? Well, looking at their tactics from what they've used this season, Manchester United are going to be in a, for a very competitive game. And by that, I mean that Ajax are going to press with real intensity when they are out of possession. The whole team's going to press as a unit. The fullbacks are going to squeeze in and try and make the pitch compact, try and squeeze the space out of the game so that Manchester United have got to go backwards and more direct over the top. When they hit on the counter-attack, they hit very fast and they have got very fast players. Their defenders normally try to push up and aggressively tackle to win the ball and start attacks early when the opposition's defence is out of shape. So Man United are not going to have a comfortable game here. Of course you're not. It's going to be the Europa League final. You're up in a European Cup final against Ajax. It was never going to be comfortable. But Ajax in particular, their exciting, aggressive style of football this season has made them good to watch because they do attack with such intensity. And Manchester United have got to make sure that we're, when we're in possession, we don't foolishly give it away. Because if we do give them opportunities like that, Ajax can definitely expose us. Are there any major concerns going into this final? One certain concern we've got is fitness-wise. Now, Ajax haven't played a game since May the 14th. That was their last game in the Eredivisie. In that space, Manchester United have played two more games. And we already had quite a depleted squad. So are Manchester United players going to be match, more match sharp than Ajax? Or is it going to be match fitness? that they're going to have the advantage in because they're slightly more rested. The good thing is that we were able to rest basically our whole team against Crystal Palace. That is a really good thing. Uh, but whether or not match fitness comes into it, we'll see on the day. But fingers crossed that rest against Crystal Palace is something that means it won't affect us too much. Who do I think is going to start for Manchester United in this game? Make sure you check out our Start 11 prediction show. But as for the prediction for the final itself, I think one thing is for certain. There are going to be goals on both sides. I feel that Ajax's style of football means that they are surely going to get a goal. But at the same time, Ajax's style of football means that Manchester United are going to have chances. They've conceded an average of nine shots per game. If Manchester United can find our clinical finishing boots in this game, I suppose you could say that about a lot of games this season, but if we can find it in this game in particular, we are going to score goals. And my prediction for this, I can really see this going to extra time, something like 2-2. But I'm going to be optimistic and go for a 3-2 Manchester United win. I think there will be goals on both sides. I think for the neutral, it's going to be an exciting final. For Manchester United fans, it's going to be nervy, tense, just because of everything that is on the line here. As I said, this is our playoff final. This is the biggest game that Manchester United have had since Fergie left. If we win, we're back in the Champions League. Mourinho's had a success in his first season. If we lose, we're back in the Europa League next season and we've only won the League Cup this year. That's a poor season by Jose Mourinho. But how confident are you feeling going into the game? Do you think Man United can win the Europa League for the first time? The only trophy missing from our cabinet. Are you confident? Or do you think this Ajax team that have got so many goals in them, 14 in the last six games, can cause an upset and beat Manchester United? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. And if you're going to Stockholm, enjoy it.